Caught short? Need a quick visit to the loo? At the Bristol Bioenergy Centre, urine has become the fuel of the moment. Everyone from students to builders and lab technicians can donate their urine to scientific research. So starts a process which can end up helping to recharge a smartphone. And being quick off the mark and using urine which is fresh will increase its potency. Here we have some urine and a urinal. And we're going to pour this down the urinal. Now that isn't just waste liquid, that is a fuel for this box of microbial fuel cells. And inside these, these microbial fuel cells are bacteria who will use that urine for their own benefit and they will produce they will electrons which we collect as electricity or energy which is being harvested in this system here to charge the mobile phone. Let's just see if that's working. And there we have a mobile phone hopefully being charged through the power of bacteria. Your bathroom break could end up boosting phone power equal to around three hours of calls. After bacteria breaks down the chemicals in the urine, the energy is released as electrons which can be turned into electricity. A microbial fuel cell is a system that drives electrical current by mimicking bacterial interactions found in nature. The microbial fuel cells work by using live microbes which feed in the urine for their own growth and maintenance. This is a cascade of six microbial fuel cells where the urine comes into the first one and all the way to the last one. And the energy generated here from the microbial fuel cells is transmitted to the computer and you can see the individual cells and the amount of voltage that are generated. The famous Glastonbury Music Festival was selected to test the power of P. In 2015 and 16, the team from the Bristol Bioenergy Centre built outdoor toilets there and with an estimated 170,000 people over five days on site, that's a lot of urine. The microbial fuel cell in, in urinals where we can collect urine and, and having the lights of the urinal powered by those microbial fuel cells directly. So it's a standalone self-powered urinal which can go in refugee camps, it can go in slums, it can go in informal settlements, anywhere where there's no infrastructure, there's no national grid. Refugee camps could be set to benefit as costs are low. Each individual microbial fuel cell is very cheap to produce, costing just shy of a euro and made of inexpensive materials such as ceramics and a carbon catalyst. Working with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Oxfam, this year the technology is going to be set up in refugee camps at a handful of locations across Africa.